is this the doctor's medical center that's in uh, on San Pablo, like that big ass yeah. white building? All right, um, yeah. all right. So, uh, what happened was like I guess like somebody from the hospital put one of your phones in the bag, and we have it here. And I was wondering, like, um, I'm hella far away from you, but like, should I bring it back or should I just keep it or donate it? Or what? Um, I guess. Nah, it's a white phone. Huh? You see how they always try to get you to hold to take your source energy? Oh yeah, um, I don't know what happened. Somehow we got disconnected, but I was saying it's a white phone. It's like a little small white phone. Um, well, you can just bring it back and give it to security. Should I just like donate it to somebody? I'm hella far away from you. What type, What city are you in? Um, I'm in Modesto. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's hella far. Um. It, it was, uh, I guess it was a little, it was like a little phone that was in a patient's room or something. A little phone? Because there's no little phones in the patient room. Yeah, it's a small little white phone that you can plug in and like you can set it down and ain't got no receiver or nothing. It's a small little flat phone. Hospital phone. Can you hold for me? Can you hold for me for one second? Should I just donate it? I'm, I'm, cause should I come out there or should I just donate it? Huh? Are you there? What happened? <clears throat> See how they always try to uh, take source energy. They every everyone hold for me. Can you hold for me? Like I'm <clears throat> not <clears throat> hold a hundred years on the phone. It's like. That's the shit that I'm talking about. It's all about source energy. It's all about if they can take some vine energy from you. So, like, you know, I'm just showing you what's really going on, man. You can call whatever kind of business and they'll try to wait but wait you out, make you whole, and do this and do that. It's so that they can take your source energy. This is free energy one on one. And um also somebody did have that phone. I don't want to be tethered or linked to that phone, so I'm finna donate that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just finna donate the phone. That's what I'm about to do. I don't um I don't know why I keep on disconnecting, but I was just thinking I'm just gonna donate it. Is that cool? Let me con no. Let me connect you to the next. Hold for me. Can you hold for me? I don't want to. I don't want to be on hold for a whole hour. That's the whole thing. You're not gonna be on hold for a whole hour. That's the thing. It's like it's not busy. I just give me like five minutes. Give me five minutes. Hold for me. How for? I mean, I just all I'm finna do is I'm just calling and let you know that I'm gonna donate it. I'm I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, see, I can't. I have to. Can you just hold for me because I need to talk to the, somebody that's in charge so I know what the deal is. Hold for me. Can you hold for me? 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 Can you like they want you to hold. Like no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <coughs> I'm not gonna hold. <coughs> it's not gonna happen. But um, pretty much you can call whatever business. Like let let me randomly call a business right now. I'm gonna randomly call whatever business. Uh, let me show you. 
Watch this. Watch what they say. This is their famous shit. This is this is free energy 101 right here. This is free energy <coughs> 101. <coughs> this is free energy 101. <coughs> This is what's going on. <laughs> Hi, yes, I was calling to um to order a pizza. Okay. Um, I would like to order um pepperoni and sausage, or actually a vegetarian. With like uh, mushrooms and olives. Okay, what size? Okay, okay. Um, large. Okay. Anything else? Um, that's all. And uh, pickup or delivery? Uh, pickup. What's your name? Okay. Um, yes, my name is Brian. Okay, Brian. Brian. Uh, we're gonna be twenty twenty two, and we'll have it ready about fifteen minutes. All right. Oh, that was weird. If I would have said delivery, then he would have put me on hold. Like, like I'm, I'm telling you, you know what I'm talking about. In your reality, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You can call any fucking business, and the thing is, is that they're gonna try to put you on hold, <coughs> and <coughs> you have to, you just. Let me call and cancel that because that's a soul tie. I don't want to create that contract to that soul tie. Hi, Jake. Um, yes, this is um Brian. I was calling. I just want to cancel that order because I just found a, a place that's way closer. Okay. Okay. So you know um. But I just wanted to show show you that what's going on. They all want you to hold. They all want you to do this and do that. Look, I'm not finna give you my source energy. You're not gonna take that. <coughs> um, what happens is is that if they can control your energy, if they got you waiting for them and this and that, I'm not gonna wait on you. I don't have to. For what? Who are you? You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, nah, I ain't going to wait on you. I finna wait on you. Reason why I called back and let him know that was because I'm not, uh, I'm not going to do that. <coughs> I'm not, um, I'm not going to create no soul tie. No one, I ain't picking up no damn pizza or none of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna do that. Can't do it. But, um, it's just showing you what's going on.
Let me see. But yeah, you know, the thing is, is if they can get you to hold, that equates to money. Energy equates to money in this matrix. And that's what's going on. All right. So you just, you have to see it. You have to recognize it. And you just got to squash it. Here we go. Hi, yeah. Um, it's me again. I was calling because yeah, um, he just said you would just keep the phone. Just keep it. All right, thank you. I just, I just wanted to do the right thing. I noticed that it. I was like, damn, it's a hospital phone. Yeah. All right, all right, for sure, for sure. Right, right on, right on, right on. Completion. See the whole shit? How they try to get they thinking? Nah, it ain't no peace. You know what I'm saying? But it just, it is what it is. Now the thing is, I'm gonna be honest with you. I got a phone, right? Now, this phone came from a hospital. I visited somebody that was in a hospital, and that person put this phone in my back. That person put this phone in my back, and I just realized it <coughs> because <coughs> I've been going back in my, in my life and breaking all soul ties with people. And then breaking soul ties because I felt like something like my energy is pulling at me. That's causing me to cough for no reason. Um, and so I'm like, damn, I'm connected to somebody and they drawing in on my energy. So I found this fucking phone. I'm like, damn, that bitch put this phone in my back. This is connected to doctor's hospital. The reason why they want me to just keep the phone is because they want me to hold on to this, this, this thing. See, look, this is what happened. She was in the hospital for two days. She had a fatal ass fucking, she has congestive heart failure and some other shit going on with her. Her immune system and all of this. She been eating wrong foods and all of that, right? So I go and I visit her. This, she's supposed to, like, keep in mind that she's supposed to stay in the hospital. Now, all those who have been watching Dark Lord Yukili Osai and Light Lord Yukili Osai's videos know that my aura is, like, off the charts, yo. I got green red yellow purple like i got all my angels all around me at all times like my aura is completely immaculate like you see my aura at all times you see angelic energies around me all the time right and i'm just full of this vine source energy so the thing is is that i actually get to to to, to you know I, I go and i visit <coughs> i visit i visit her i visit her in the hospital she's supposed to be there for a very long time. They let her go within the first 10 minutes of me going there. It was like a setup. She was like, who can I call to got solar-like energy? She called me because I'm full of solar-like energy. The thing is, they just wanted her, a dietitian, to be in the same room so that they can try to program me according to sounds and vibrations and, and, and link me to her sickness. You see what I'm saying? And link me to her sickness. What was going on was that she had... um. The dietitian came in there, he's saying all the foods that she can't eat, but every she had like a room full of all kind of people, and every time he said a food, a food that they can't eat, he would point out a certain part of the body or something like that, and then somebody in the room would call for, they go, hum, or, or some old sound and vibration, and then I noticed his hand mutras, he, um, he had both of these fingers restricting the thumb, or he would have something restricting the wrist or he would have something restricting. He was looking. I was looking at his hand mutras and I was like, yo, this motherfucker is really trying to. They're trying to tether her sickness to me, to my body through words of power. They're trying to get me to laugh right on the sick cart and all of this old shit. Right. The thing is, and then she actually slipped this phone in my back. She slipped this phone in my back. And this is the link. This is what's tethering me 
to that fucking hospital. This phone. So when I broke the, the soul tie with her, I still feel linked to somebody and my energy is being pulled. I said, what the fuck is linking me to these people? To to whoever. And it's the phone. So I'm not going to hold on to this phone. I have, even though they gave me permission to hold on to the phone, um, now <laughs> I can hold on to the phone and keep it because uh, um, they gave me full, full permission and, and that just broke the soul tie right there but at the same time i'm not gonna hold on to this fucking medication phone this is a this is a, a, a hospital phone i want nothing to do with this phone i'm just gonna donate it hey would you like a phone yeah just plug it in it's a good phone i'm just gonna donate this phone and um whoever i donated to because they gave it to me i can donate it now and whoever i donated to they're not gonna be tied to, by no kind of ways but I'm not going to be tied to this phone by no kind of ways. And I'm not going to inherit her karmatic debt. She was eating wrong foods that caused her body to, to, to react a certain kind of way. And I'm not going to inherit that debt for her. So I wrote on a contract to disconnect myself from her. To disconnect myself from all every, every one of those beings. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And this phone is going to end that shit. This phone is linking me to that hospital. This phone is linking me... Because what happened was she got sick. I get there. It's a room full of people. And all these motherfuckers is, 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 is trying to work a contract with this dietrician so that I can inherit that lady's sickness. And every time he said he, she couldn't eat a certain food, they'd be right there. One of them will uh, uh, go like this at the ab abdominals. And then, or a sound and vibration. So, like, if she eat that kind of food, if I eat that kind of food, it will hurt me at my ab abdominals. Or if I hear that sound and vibration, it, it will be me inheriting her sickness. They was tethering or linking me to her sickness in there. That's what was going on. And at the end, when she put this in my, in my back, this is when I noticed. I said, when I broke the soul tie with her in that hospital, I still noticed that I, I felt like my energy pulling down at me. I'm like, damn, my energy is, is, is something that's pulling down in my energy. I'm like, what the fuck is that that's pulling down in my energy? And, uh, and I realized I had to I had to go and I had to investigate. And I seen this phone. And I said, yo, this phone is linking me to that hospital. So now I got to do a contract. I got to write down on the doc. I need, I need to write down doctor's hospital. I got to write down doctor's hospital. I got to write down that person's name. Everyone that was in that, in that room. I got to write and, and, and break that soul tie with them. And also another thing, right? I was supposed to perform at this um this Mason, this Mason lady. Me and this Mason lady was supposed to hook up and do like a record label together or whatever, right? Thing was, when she turned out to be phony baloney bullshit and she was just a space vampire trying to vamp on some energy thinking I was naive. But the thing was, was but before I actually met up with her in person, <laughs> she asked me to perform at this festival. So she texted me. She was like, yeah, you know, um, now keep in mind, I met her at, um, at like a whole, like at a farmer's market where she was selling like cupcakes and shit. And I said, I automatically knew not to fuck with nobody selling cupcakes. You know what I'm saying? But, um, she knows a lot about business. She's savvy when it comes to like the uniform commercial code and all this old shit. So I wanted to hook up with her about the record label. The thing was, was that. She told me she that that all she does full time is the food. That's her field. That's how she vamps energy. She cooks these these sugar based, mucus based uh, muffins and shit. She probably puts her own period blood in it just to hook people into her fucking products and shit. You know what I'm saying? And she tried to like um, she tried to motherfucking and, and which people are not gonna be hooked to none of her products at all. Um, but <coughs> she tried to. <coughs> She tried to like um, say, yeah, we can do this record label together. I'll help you out. All this old shit. So then the next day, she asks me to meet her at this place where I get there. She's an hour late. She was supposed to introduce me to this guy who has a venue that was going to let us perform at his venue. She was using that as a link to try to uh, like hook me in. So then like I get there. He's not there. She's not there. I wait a whole hour. She show up. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry, I'm dressed like this. This and that. All this old dumb ass shit. And then, and then at the end, she's like, she's like, um, she's using all these words of power and all this shit. And then the next day she texts me. She's like, 
Oh yeah, um, I didn't. I, I got your calls, but I couldn't respond because um, I'm in court all day. I'm a paralegal. I'm like, what? I'm like, hold on. First of all, you told me that you wasn't a parent that that you didn't do nothing in your daytime. That all you that I first I asked you these specific questions so that I can know if you have enough time and energy to commit to my projects. Now you telling me that you do a paralegal at some fucking court. I find out that you a uh, that you a Eastern Star Mason. You had me meet in a fucking Masonic lodge and all this other shit, bitch. You trying to use my energy to manifest your shit. So then. She um she asks me if I want to like um perform at this festival. She's using festival, right? The thing was was that when I when she tells me more information, she like, yeah, give me the names of the people that's gonna perform at the festival so I can register their names so that they can perform. Register their names so that they can perform. These were key things that she was saying, right? Then when I picked up on it, I said, hold on, this bitch is trying to do something. First, she's a, uh, she had me going to this fucking Masonic building and meet these Eastern Star bitches where they was communicating secretly, talking about a sexual orgy. And she was talking about meeting up with her friend, uh, her female friend to have sex. And then she ex ex told me, by the way, I'm gay. Bitch, I know you was gay. I know how spirits communicate. You know what I'm saying? I know how Masons communicate. Masons will talk to and talk about you in front of your face using code words, and you won't even know it if you're not up on that kind of. I already know what's up, bitch. I been peeped your aura. I been seen the homosexual spirit on you. I seen the lazy spirit on you. I seen the, the the depression spirit on you. I seen all those spirits on this bitch. So the thing was was that after all of this shit, she uh she uh, uh I send in the names. I send in the two artists in my and I knew the name I knew. And then she tells me after all of that that it's gonna be with the National AIDS, um, the National AIDS uh 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 festival, a national AIDS day or some shit. So then when I'm feeling my pulling of my energy, I'm like, damn, how am I linked? Am I linked? Did, did I register my name so that they can pull my source energy to keep these AIDS motherfuckers alive? Is that's what's happening to my vine energy, my source energy? And another thing was that I uh, um I locked myself up and I was just using incense and I was inhaling the incense and not going in nature. I was doing some serious rituals back to back and I was inhaling a lot of the incense. So that could be another reason why that the smoke that was in my lungs <coughs> that I was inhaling and not getting enough nature. That could be some of the reason why. But I had to think, like, what is pulling out my source energy? So I thought about it. It could be the bitch at the hospital. She had all her friends there. Whenever two or more gathered, the spirit of the Lord is in the midst. You know what I'm saying? That manifestation power. She had all of those motherfuckers on one accord dealing with their demonic energies and shit, trying to use me, trying to tether her sickness to my body and then link me to the hospital by putting this in my back. That's what that was about. So I'm going to break that soul tie and throw this motherfucker phone or give it to somebody. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to be disconnected from Doctor's Hospital. I'm going to be disconnected from all of those beings that was in Doctor's Hospital. The sounds and tones and vibrations that was, that they put off in the atmosphere and um, in the sickness. I'm going to disconnect myself through a contract and burn a contract. But I'm going um, I'm to I'm dedicate the energies to my art and, um, and to Hootie. You know what I'm saying? Because my art is the goddess of righteousness, justice, and truth. And Tahuti is the god of 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 um he is the god of uh <coughs> he's the god of uh he is the god of <coughs> he is the god of uh he is the god of uh alchemy. I just feel something t pulling at my energy, but really it's just probably like that smoke opening up for my lungs from what I was inhaling all of those incense and shit. That's really what that's all about. Um, but I'm finna disconnect from Doctor's Hospital and from those group of people, and I also got to disconnect from her. So what I did was, um, I already did a contract. I, I told her that I no longer agree to the terms and conditions of whatever contracts. I broke all spiritual soul ties and agreements and contracts with her. I, I texted her this, and I spoke to her about this. Then I put it into the atmosphere. I disconnected myself from her completely. I defriended her off of Facebook. And um, deleted her number out of my contact. That's the first thing. 
then um uh, then I did a contract and already took my I took my source energy back from um uh, uh from uh being my my name and my artist's names being registered under the National AIDS Day Festival um and I and I returned all of that energy back to my name I knew then I um then I took back all of the energy from all of the little shit uh that I signed the little with me signing my name on little shit like uh Domino's pizza uh vegetarian pizza and shit or whatever signature I put my name on I took all my energy back from everything that I ever put my name on and I um all my energy has to be returned back to me and supercharged to all of my names but I'm God and I'm God of many names you know what I'm saying and so the name that I'm I'm currently using right now is Raphael which is which is um the God of the angelic energies of healing you know what I'm saying and um and that's who I am right now <laughs> but I got to disconnect because it's something pulling out my energy right now and I and I have to find out what it is and and nip it in the bud so what I'm doing is I'm going through this whole my whole dwelling and everybody do I, I wrote their number down I'm I'm tearing that up I don't want to be linked to no low vibrational energies or frequencies um I'm little business cards I'm throwing business cards away I don't have no use for those business cards why would I hold on to it those is that's vampire shit I'm not gonna allow my energy to be linked or tethered to nothing that's not high vibrational so I'm throwing all business cards away from people that I I, I got their business cards I'm eventually about to change my number I don't want to be linked to none of the low vibrational energies that I've that I've been communicating with um, because these people are not people or they're not beings, they're energies and they just look like humans. You think you look, therefore you, you think whatever you look like, period. Like I was communicating with a reptilian and he was like, yo, like I'm a pure reptilian, but when I'm down here on earth, I look like, like this. And he was telling me like, I'm a reptilian, but I'm, I'm human and, and I manifested human arms and shit. And I was also talking to another reptilian woman and she said that she was getting used to her human body. So these are different things. Like these is just energies that I've been communicating with. And I want to disconnect myself from those energies by changing my whole number on these niggas. <coughs> That's real. I'm not linked to y'all not going to be linked to me at all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's another thing that I wanted to share with you, but it is what it is. 13. Um, I'm not linked to none of y'all. You know what I'm saying? 13. It is what it is. 13. My name, Lord, I knew is Lord. I knew I'm not linked to nobody else. Um, <coughs> and it is what it is, y'all. 13.